Did you know that Sekiro Shadows Die Twice was supposed to be the next Tenchu game? From Software initially wanted to take a break from the Soul series and they wanted to go back to feudal Japan, so they decided to make a sequel of Tenchu. But as they were developing, the project grew beyond its Tenchu roots, becoming its own new IP. And from that, Sekiro was born. Did you know that Assassin's Creed was initially going to be a spin-off game from the Prince of Persia series? The game was initially named Prince of Persia Assassins, but as they were developing, the game grew into something even bigger and they soon realized that this should be a completely different game, and from that the Assassin's Creed series was born. Did you know that Angry Birds had more than a million people downloading this game within its first 24 hours on the Android market? When it was released back in 2009, the mobile game was very successful on the iOS store, so a year later when Robio finally got around to release the game on Android, by that point the hype around Angry Birds was really big, that when they finally released it, they managed to crash the App Store. Did you know that in Star Wars The Force Unleashed? If you are looking around the Kashyyyk Hunting Lodge, you can see a fan favorite character that everybody definitely loves, that character being Jar Jar Binks, who is frozen in carbonite. Did you know that in Batman Arkham City, if you scan Joker while fighting Clayface, it will reveal that he's nervous seeing the Batman in danger, but when Clayface is frozen, he becomes calm seeing that the Batman is safe. Did you know that Call of Duty had a code game that would take place during the Vietnam War, named Call of Duty Vietnam. Sledgehammer Games was in charge of the project and this would have been the first Call of Duty game to feature a third person perspective, but after 8 months, Activision decided to cancel the game and offered Sledgehammer Games to work on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Did you know that this Honored was initially going to be set in feudal Japan, but the directors of the game knew nothing about that time period, so they went for a 17th century London during the Black Plague. But they encountered the same problem, so they scrapped that period but kept the idea of the plague in mind. In the end, they would create Dunwall, which takes the inspiration from the cities of London and Edinburgh between the 19th and 20th century. Did you know that Grand Track 10 was the first racing game that allowed people to use a steering wheel to play? It was an arcade game released by Atari in 1974 and had a lot of success. And besides the steering wheel, Grand Track 10 also featured a gear stick and foot pedals, allowing users to have the full racing experience. Did you know that in Man Eater, while exploring the bay waters, you could come across a very familiar pineapple that is a clear reference to SpongeBob's home? Did you know that in Neo, during the scene where you first meet Hattori Hanzo, you see him pulling out a cat and looking into its eyes? Now the reason why he did that was because he wanted to check the time, as looking into a cat's eyes were a method ninjas used of telling time. 